Hello there, my dear Pisces. Welcome to your May 2015 RuneScope with me. My name is Amanda. Uh, let's jump in here and get these runes for you for May. Out here on the table. Of course, the only way to get an accurate reading only for you is to schedule one with me. I do those on Skype. It's $65 for a 30 minute session. Drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video if you want to set up an appointment with me. If you're on a mobile device or a cell phone, just tap the arrow beneath this video. That'll open the details section. That's where you'll find my email address. You can also watch the video for your rising sign um, to get a little bit more information about what may be going on for you in May. Um, also wanted to mention I am going to be offering an online rune class. It's a six week course. It's $185 for the entire course. You will need to be able to devote about four hours per week to that. Um, there are no live sessions, but there are uh, weekly lectures and homework assignments. If you want to sign up for that, uh, just contact me by May 28th. That's the deadline to sign up and pay for that, but you can contact me at any point and I'll get you added to the roster. That class will be June 1st through July 10th. So again, just let me know if you wanna sign up. But let's jump into May, Pisces, and see what's gonna be happening for you guys. Your focus may be on um, I, there may be something that you've been planning for a while that just turns out to be kind of a disappointment. Um, and this may have something to do with a trip or you know, you may have to postpone a trip or reschedule something. There may be something you were really wanting to do that you're just unable to get done in May. I mean, it doesn't seem to be, a you know, not for, for most of you a huge thing. It's just something you have to delay a little bit or it's a trip that you have to postpone. Things don't work out. Maybe something you were looking forward to, um, or, or maybe some sort of resolution that you were wanting or, or hoping for, emotion, some sort of emotional resolution that doesn't um, pan out. What I am seeing is that there's a lot of protection around you that this is coming or, or whatever this is that's delayed will still happen. Um, it just may not be happening in May, but I mean, this is definitely something that can be resolved as something you can achieve. This is a trip you can take. Um, this is something you can get over if it's kind of in a more of a, like an inner journey or an emotional journey that you've been having trouble with here with the eight of cups in reverse. Um, now for some of you, this could be, this could be, again, these energies are not always you. This could be someone that, you know, in your life who just can't free themselves from an emotional entanglement or relationship that they need to move on from, but they just can't. Uh, you may be you may be hopeful that someone's finally going to do this, but then you know disappointed that they don't. Or or somebody may say they've you know forgiven, forget, and put something behind them, but then they bring it up again. You find out that that's not the case. They can't let something go that needs to be gotten rid of. And Pisces, I think this came up for you in another reading earlier this year. Um, just seems familiar. I just had deja vu. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't you, but I, I do feel like, yeah, this, you know, this could be an ongoing theme where it's like, you know, and it is coming. I mean, with Yera here, it may take the rest of this year, unfortunately, with Yera there, because that can be talking about a time span that is a year or the end of the year. Um, you know, it, it may just be going more slowly than you would like, which things we really want often do that. That's crazy the way that works out. Um, we want instant gratification and we seldom get it, especially where emotions are concerned or where other people are concerned. So yeah, I mean, you're, this is still going to happen. This is still a goal that's going to occur. It's just delayed right now, either because, you know, because of circumstances, if it's something that you were planning to do or, or, uh, because of someone else, they're just not ready or they're not there. Maybe they haven't learned what they're supposed to learn yet. Um, something's kind of caught up and delayed. And, and it may be something you thought would be resolved by now uh, or, or, or that you thought would be figured out by May. And, and it's just unfortunately not. Um, but with the Tower card, I mean, this could involve a, a, a big shakeup of some sort. Um, but the, the thing that's interesting to me is that Ingwaz is here and uh, Pedro on the other side of this. 
So somebody's secrets may be coming out, Pisces, in May. If it's you that's been, if you've been trying to hide something, it may be, you know, I would put some extra guards on that. If you have a secret, or if you just have something that you're not ready to be public knowledge, I would definitely put some extra locks in, on that because it could, uh, you know, um, it could come out in May. Somebody may be going through a breakup uh, with the Tower card, Pisces. I get the feeling, though. I mean, and it certainly may apply to some of you, but because these runes are around it that are, you know, relatively, for you, a positive thing, um, I feel like mostly that this will be going on around someone that you know kind of getting out of a bad situation, or maybe they're finding out the truth about someone with the Tower card. And... Um, you know, you may, this may have been hidden from you for a while and then you just find out that this person is finally seeing the truth about a situation. Um, so, and for those of you that it's you that if you're experiencing a breakup or a divorce or, or going through this, I feel like for most of you, you know, it was something that you needed to get out of. You know, it was something that you, or maybe you're coming to that realization in May. This is a, you know relationship I need to get out of, or this is a person I need to distance myself from and completely just kind of cut off. It doesn't have to be a romantic thing. Not always. It can't just be somebody who is, who you need to break free from because they're a negative influence. Or maybe you find out something about someone that you kind of always had an inkling with Pedro here. You kind of always thought that you were just seeing surface. You weren't really seeing who this person was underneath the facade. And you find out in May and you're like, okay, I kind of always knew that that was the case, but now I know and now I can move on. For most of you, this does not seem to be traumatic for you, but it could just be that you are, again, um, you care about whoever this is that's going through this or, you know, you're, you're glad to finally be free of this person's negativity because you know the tower is not always negative and you have really positive runes around it so I, I do feel like whatever this is it's sending you in a new course a new direction this can be a spiritual enlightenment as well so I mean this can be you just discovering a new path or or and it just really kind of shakes your foundations you know it, it turns your whole perspective um like what you thought was true is now broken or or completely it's like the glass shattering and uh you can finally see what was behind that um and see the, see the real colors instead of looking at it through uh, like a screen or or a glass or a veil of some sort that's ripped away and you see things first to see things as they truly are the good the bad and the ugly but we have to see all of that in order to make informed decisions and that's what I feel like is going on for a lot of you in May. So there's enlightenment coming. Anything that's been hidden will be revealed. Help that's going to be available to you. Um, Queen of Swords comes up as your tarot card in that position. And uh, Queen of Swords is normally an air sign energy. doesn't have to be. It could just be somebody with those traits. But we are talking here Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. She could be a lawyer. Um, could be a male as well. Um... But this is somebody who is coming up as a help to you. So she is speaking truth. She's very logical. She's very analytical. She's an intelligent person. Um, she solves problems. That's the thing about um, swords people. They are problem solvers. These are the people that love puzzles. Um, their mind is always going. Uh, so they love, yeah, like all of those puzzles, but they like life puzzles as well. And if anybody can figure them out, they can. When they cannot have... with. Here's the thing though, with uh, the air energy people, when they can't solve life problems like they can solve a crossword puzzle, they get really frustrated because <laughs> those pesky things called emotions get involved and they're more analytical. Not that they don't have emotions, of course they do, but they don't really understand them as well as say water signs do <laughs> or, uh, or fire signs do. So, um, but this is still somebody who's gonna be coming up helping you uh, Pisces and this could be for some of you a job interview this could be the person you interview with if you're looking for a new opportunity looking for a new job this could be a new professor a new teacher or, or a new mentor um, you know this could be you some of you could be taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords and just really slicing through nonsense speaking the truth 
Uh, but I feel like if you do this Pisces with, we have Canis here, you're going to be doing it in a positive way. So this is not like a harsh, you know, you may be dealing with some hard issues. You may be communicating about some difficult things, some difficult issues, but it's going to be in a very truthful way. Um, you know, and, and a way that is not hurtful to anyone else. So, um, yeah. And the way you see it, the way you, um, the way things are from where, from your perspective, but I think you're going to be leaving emotion out of it for the most part, uh, Pisces, if this is you and you taking on these traits of the queen of swords, you'll just be talking in a very analytical fashion. Um, respect the word respect comes you'll be demanding it or someone will be commanding it from you um well not commanding it i feel like she will earn it because she is someone so this could be someone in your life this could be a mother or a sister or uh the queens are normally uh you know women in their you know older women not really old 30s and up and that's a big age range but uh yeah, so this is not somebody who's young. This is somebody who is wise and, and um, has a lot of experience. So this is somebody who give you some really good advice um, about a new direction, uh, about a new career direction, new career opportunities. Um, there could be something to do with communication, writing, words. Um, in May, a new beginning with that. Uh, so some of you may be doing a lot of writing, a lot of, or just a lot of communicating, um, regarding a new beginning or a new project in May. So, and, and it really could be coming together. So whatever's going on with this other stuff, communication is actually going to go very well. And I do feel like, you know, that will be the positive kind of side of this. Now we do also have the Knight of Cups in reverse coming up. This is normally a water sign like you, Pisces. Cancer or Scorpio, for some of you, this could be you, but he is coming up in the reverse. So Pisces, if this is you, you, you could be feeling a bit moody. You could be a bit immature at times in May. Or this could be your son, if you have a water sign son, because uh, the, the knights are normally younger people. And I think he came up last month for you. He came up for somebody last month in April. He's like the quintessential goth kid. Or, or emo kid, whatever they're calling it these days. You know, he listen, he locks himself in his room. It's, you know, it's always dark. He always wears black. He's always listening to, you know, <laughs> depressing music. I mean, that's, that's this kid, okay? But I mean, yeah, there may be someone around you going through a breakup that is very emotional. There may be a lot of disruption because again, you have Hagel, which is the kind of the equivalent of the, ter of the tower card. Um, this is, this is the rune tower card, so. Yeah, and again, it could be you or someone else. It'll be different for all of you. Um, but yeah, this could be somebody in your family that has been in conflict with the family going, you know, maybe this has been a rebellious kid or, or somebody who's going through. It can be an adult just acting immature, guys. It doesn't always have to be, in these general readings especially, um, a teenager. But this could be somebody who's going through like a second adolescence. This could even be like a midlife crisis kind of energy. Um, you know, somebody who is going through like a second teendom, um, a second rebellious stage. So, and this may be causing conflict within the family, you know, um, but yeah, a lot of disruption being caused by this person or this person's going through a big disruption. So, e but it may be difficult for you to communicate with this person. However, I do feel like in this case that you are going to become the queen of swords here, Pisces, and give this person some much needed uh, help or guidance, um, show them a new way forward. So um, the help that may be available to you may be that you are helping someone else because, you know, we are rewarded when we help and, and think of others. But um, yeah, there's a lot of disruption around males in your life, Pisces. So if you are not a male, I feel like this will be someone in your life most likely a younger male, a brother, a son, um, who is going through a big uh, transition or going through a difficult time. And you may not have all the information. There may be a lot hidden from you in May. Um, you may feel like someone is just being lazy. 
Pisces, or, or, you know, if this is you, other people may be accusing you of that. You know, you're just being lazy. You're not putting enough effort into this. You know, you want things to change with the six of swords in reverse. You want things to change, but you're not willing to put in the effort. So, um, but that, you know, I feel like for most of you, that's you telling this person that <laughs> that's you telling this adolescent to that, or this adolescent person, you know, you want things to change, but you don't put any effort into it. Um, you know, nothing changes if you don't put effort into it. Anything worth having requires effort. And, um, or you may be telling someone, you know, you're never going to be happy until you leave this situation behind again, because you've got, what's really fascinating is you've got the eight of cups in reverse and the six of swords in reverse, which are very similar cards. I mean, this, this talks about more, you know, leaving something behind mentally, giving up on, on the idea. It's just not workable. Um, but you're not feeling like you can leave. You're kind of like in a mental standstill. Um, and this is an emotional standstill, not being able to leave emotionally something behind. So someone Pisces in May is caught kind of between a rock and a hard place. And they're going to get out of this. Cause again, you had this room talking about there may be delays, but there's still going to be a way forward. Um, but I feel like you will have more information about this situation. Anything that's been hidden from you will come to light by the end of May about this situation. So if it's you, if you felt like you haven't been able to move out of a situation, you may have the information that you need so that in June you can take steps to do that. But if it's someone that you are concerned about, I think steps toward liberation because they keep giving me liberation. Someone is on their way to being liberated, but you may not, you may not have all the details until after Mercury turns direct in June. So speak your truth, Pisces. I normally hate it when people say that because <laughs> I think, I think some readers rely on it a lot. They're always saying that. And sometimes it can be very kind of esoteric. It's like, what the hell does that mean? But no, your perspective, you know, the way you see things because you're, you, you're the one talking sense in May Pisces, you are the one making sense or you're getting guidance from someone who's making sense. And, and it is someone who is doing it because they care about you. So even if it may be something you don't want to hear, it's going to set you on the right course. But for most of you, I think this is you giving advice or being there for someone else and communicating and just saying, you know what, look, this is insane. What are you doing? You need to get out of this situation. You need to leave this person, this relationship, this situation behind, this job. I mean, look how it's affecting you. You need to get out of this and move on. So that's what I see. There may be some disruptions in May, but they're necessary disruptions, Pisces. And I feel like they're going on around you with someone else. You may not know the extent of them until June, though. So just keep that in mind. Good luck with everything in May, and I'll see you back here in June.